Hi guys, um, we just wanted to kind of share with you um, what we're potentially doing in our own home. Um, the colors, the um, and uh, floor colors, walls, cabinets, and fabrics. Um, over here, actually, to start out with, this is potentially kind of the floor color we're thinking about. Um, something in that vein, light and airy. Currently we have very dark uh, chocolate brown floors, um, so we're going much lighter on the floors this time. The um, cabinetry, um, we're doing very sort of contemporary with a nod to the past. Um, it's on legs, but very simple and boxy. The colors are going from gray to cream, white in the kitchen with gray and then sort of a, a warm taupey color in our guest area. So right now we're really loving chartreuses and kind of muddier greens. Uh, so this story right here is our living room story and dining room. Uh, this will be our sofa. Um, we are buying some new George Smith chairs which will be in this stripe. And then we are putting this we call it a masculine polka dot pillow, a very large one on our chartreuse sofa. The um, stripes on the George Smith chairs are going to run horizontally, so they're a little bit more playful. Um, and then we'll juxtapose these more classic pieces with a contemporary lamp, um, contemporary coffee table, and the environment itself being much more contemporary. Um, let's see. Um, this is the master bedroom and bathroom roughly. We're going with grays, blacks, and white, maybe some cream. Um, the counters, the cabinets, the shower, the surround for the yeah. mirror, yeah. Yeah. and then lamps, the bed uh, from Linier Rose, and the fabric on it potentially. We're thinking of maybe some woven woods mixing in there. Um, our wood floors will flow throughout the house. The, um, let's see. So this story um, is being based off of a saffron Moroccan rug that we have um, that we don't have on site right now. But much of the rug has this saffron um, type color in it. So we were gonna be somewhat playful and do perhaps, we're not sure yet what sofa we're doing, but something along the lines of this in this color to, so it's almost like rising out of the rug in the same saffron color as the rug. Um, so that'll make, and then we're mixing that with two mid-century uh, Danish uh, chairs that are in neutral. Um, in our guest quarters, we're using museum white walls. We're doing this potentially on the floor window treatments. This is a, a fabric we're doing an upholstered bed from Flu, which has a lift um, component, so you have storage under the mattress. Um, this would be in our bathroom, which would be the shower, the counter, the cabinets, um, and then we'll use probably a crisp white linen on the bed with something playful, um, and then art. This is the typical process. Um, when we say might with some of these things, we're still finalizing the decisions and looking at the project as a whole. Most clients don't see that this happens behind the scenes. We're coming up with the big picture and then we work with them in, in, during the process on smaller aspects. And meanwhile, we're, we're coordinating uh, the, the overall concept. Um, we're finalizing decisions on the frames. We're sitting in them. We're, we'll be in LA um, in a week to double check things. Um, but it's a process and we've ordered some things. Actually, most of this has been ordered. Um, but the last few things we're, we're hamming, hammering out the details.